Good evening, everybody. Uh, could we start tonight's meeting with apologies for absence? Yes, Chairman, we have apologies and Councillor Richard Lewis. Thank you. Are there any declarations of interest in matters before us this evening? No. If not, can we approve the minutes of the last Cabinet meeting shown on pages 1 to 12 of the agenda? Are they agreed? Agreed. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, the next item is to confirm that items of business mark part 1 will be considered in public and those items of business mark part 2 will be dealt with in private. There are two public reports tonight, they are numbers 5 and 6, and reports 7 to 8 are part 2, 7 to 10 rather, are part 2 reports. The first report tonight, agenda item 5, page 13, proposed licensing schemes for professional dog walking in parks and open spaces, Councillor Mills. Thank you, Leader. Um, I move the recommendations at the top of page 14. Um, the purpose of this uh, report and recommendations is for Hillingdon to introduce a licensing scheme for professional dog walkers across its many uh, green spaces, of which of course uh, we, we have loads of them and of high quality, uh, and in doing so to ensure that we do not get to a situation which we have started to see evidence of in one or two places where the, the number of dogs being taken for a walk um, is far beyond what the person can then control and that uh, disruption is, is following as a result. We are going to be using a licensing system um, based upon the experience of many other boroughs, including the Royal Parks, which have uh, had great success in introducing theirs. And the other benefit of this particular system is not only will it enable us to have what we think appropriate uh, freedom and control within the parks, but also ensures that animal welfare of these professional um, dog walkers is maintained to adequate standards, and therefore the, the licensing scheme in itself will become <coughs> quite easy to monitor and to fulfil, and those that would have trouble with it would realise that Hillenden is not the place for walking uh, dogs if they are not of that standard. I move. Thank you, Councillor Mills. Are the recommendations agreed? Agreed. agreed. Thank you. <coughs> Agenda item 6, page 29, the Council Budget 2018-19 Revenue and Capital uh, Month and 8 Monitoring. Councillor Bianco. Uh, thank you, Leader. Uh, well, this is um, month 8, uh, November, um, and it shows, again, a small improvement. So, um, moving in the right direction, um, it is uh, as we would expect. Um, the Recommendations are all shown at the top of page 30, and I move all 11 of them. I know you will want to speak to a number of them, so I won't do that right here. But I think it's worth uh, noting um, a few other bits and pieces as we go through, which is, of course, the general fund balances still look on course to um, show about just under 40 million. I'm sure that will vary slightly as we get towards the end. It always does, but uh, it's still uh, in the right position. Uh, and on the capital side, uh, th there's an underspend of five, just over five million this, uh, in this month, and that, of course, is due to the um, non-purchase, I can call it that, of Uxbridge Police Station. We put five million aside to buy on, uh, to spend on buying Uxbridge Police Station, but since the uh, Met Police have uh, declined our kind offer, um, that money is um, uh, that, that adjustment uh, needs to be made to the capital account. Um, it is uh, basically um, steady as you go. The savings progress uh, is, to all intents and purposes, virtually um, dealt with now. There is a very small amount of shortfall savings off our target of 10.6, so um, that will undoubtedly be closed as time progresses. Um, and on that basis, I so move. Thank you, Councillor Bianco. Um, Going through the recommendations, no, recommendation one is to note the budget position at month eight as shown in table one, which is on page 33, and as Councillor Bianco has indicated, that is um, showing that our year-end balance is uh, $39,668,000. Uh, recommendation two is to note the Treasury management update at November 18. This is shown on page 69 of the agenda and as always indicates the return on deposits that we're getting and the 
average rate of interest that we are paying on debt. Uh, the important thing is there were no breaches of the prudential indicators or non-compliance with the Treasury management policy and practices during that period. Recommendation three is to continue delegated authority to myself and the Chief Executive to sign off um, agency uh, assignments and consultancy assignments, and this covers the period uh, 13th December to the 24th of January, and details of those um, appointments are shown in Appendix F on page 71. Recommendation four, this is the acceptance and award 533,000 pounds disabilities facilities grant from the Ministry of Housing, Communities and uh, Local Government. Uh, there was a, a, a national fund of 55 million pounds uh, which we um, were allocated 533,000. Um, uh, we are required to spend it by the 31st of March, so it's quite important that we formally accept it tonight. The recommendation five notes the additional high needs funding, 775K provided by the Department for Education within the dedicated schools grant. And indeed, if you look at the uh, first page of the report, you will notice that the dedicated schools grant is in a slightly improved position um, because of the uh, acceptance of that money. <coughs> Recommendation six accepts the grant award of 400K to transform children's social care from the What Works Centre for the Children's Social Care. Uh, details of that are shown in paragraph five of this report. Recommendation seven, to approve the release of 328 pounds from general contingency to resident service budgets to meet the ongoing costs of specialist advice in relation to the council's claim for compensation in connection with the council owned land acquired by SJWL to provide access to the Southall gas works site. This is a, an ongoing, um, I hesitate to use the word battle, it's a, um, a disagreement over the value of uh, our land that has been acquired to um, help that development on the South Orb gas work site. The, um, we're doing this jointly with the Canal and River Trust and costs will be split equally uh, between us. There's a land tribunal hearing scheduled for autumn of this year and these are the estimates of the costs that we have to put aside um, to follow that through. And I think that will be well worth it um, at the end of the day. Recommendation 8 is to approve a environment in 2018-19 of 6,408k from the HRA General Capital Contingency Budget to the HRA New General Housing um, Stock Budget and the New Build Shared Ownership Budget. This is to um, facilitate further potential acquisitions and buybacks of properties um, in this year, if we can do it. Recommendation 9, approve the environment of £200,000 from the capital program under spends for the general equipment and furniture capital budget. This is just firing um, an excess of funding in the ICT budget to the general equipment and furniture budget. It's broadly the same uh, sort of area, but we do uh, divide that budget down so we can monitor it um, more closely. Recommendation 10 is the standard approvements of gift funding in relation to a planning performance agreement, and this one is regarding land at Status Park, Nobel Drive, Heathrow, and it's in the sum of £32,000. The final recommendation is to agree the environment of £146,000 from unallocated capital contingency to fund redevelopment of Harefield Pond, and also at the same time approve the necessary capital release. Uh, the reason for the urgency um, is that apparently the frogs are about to start spawning and unless we get going uh, the, the pond will dry out and the frogs will die. So it's a bit of a catch-22. <laughs> Either way the frogs will end up winning um, at a very reasonable cost. Uh, right, they are the recommendations. Are there, are there any other uh, comments or can we agree the recommendations? Agreed. Agreed. Thank you.